When the plane carrying footballer Emiliano Sala and pilot David Ibbotson was located on the seabed of the English Channel, the worst fears of both men's families were finally confirmed. But even now, the authorities cannot provide answers to crucial questions. How and why did their Piper Malibu aircraft suddenly crash into the sea? On Monday, the 4th of February, two weeks after it lost radar contact near the island of Alderney, video footage from a remotely operated vehicle confirmed at least one body inside the wreckage. But why did it take so long to find? Monday, the 21st of January, just before 8 pm, air traffic control on Guernsey received a call from pilot David Ibbotson requesting descent. Minutes later, the signal from the plane was lost, and Guernsey Coast Guard initiated a search and rescue operation. The lifeboat Spirit of Guernsey was launched within minutes of the emergency call, and a plane from the Channel Islands air search had taken off by 9 pm. Their search lasted until the early hours of the morning. It was coordinated by Guernsey Harbour Master David Barker, a former Royal Navy officer. The water temperature is just above 10 degrees at the moment, so that, that doesn't give you very long before you start to, to freeze up. Both the UK and French Coast Guard sent aircraft to help, but the main search by the RNLI and CIAS over the next four days was conducted by volunteers, using little more than torches and their own eyes to spot debris on the surface. Mobile phone data and satellite imagery was analysed, but to no avail. During the search, it's estimated the CIAS, which is funded by charitable donations, spent a tenth of its £160,000 annual budget. It was about to take delivery of a new plane kitted out with much more sophisticated search equipment, but it didn't arrive in time to take part. After 80 hours of combined flying and 1,700 square miles of English Channel scoured by Coast Guard and fishing boats, no trace of the aircraft was found. Then, on Thursday the 24th, the official search was called off, with David Barker writing that the chances of survival were, by that point, extremely remote. In response, Salah's family and agent launched an emotional appeal for the search efforts to continue, and they soon received crowdfunding donations totaling over £324,000. They were offered help by professional shipwreck hunter David Mearns, the man who found the sunken World War II battlecruiser HMS Hood in 2001. Unlike the lifeboats involved in the initial search, his team would use a vessel fitted with advanced ocean survey equipment, the FPV Morven, but it would take some time to deploy. It arrived from Southampton on Thursday the 31st of January, the same day a seat cushion from Emiliano Sala's plane was spotted washed up on a beach in northwest France. They were no longer looking for signs of survivors, this was to be a sonar search of the seabed for what remained of the plane. The Air Accidents Investigation Branch also chartered a vessel, the Geo Ocean 3, to join the Morven in covering a search area 24 nautical miles north of Guernsey. Using the last known radar location of the aircraft, Mearns and his team were able to locate the wreckage in just two hours on Sunday the 3rd of February. They were expecting a debris field spread over a large distance, but the plane was mostly intact. By the following morning, the AAIB had used a submersible camera to confirm this was the plane carrying Emiliano Sala and David Ibbotson, its registration number being clearly visible. The operation to retrieve the body, so far unidentified, was completed using an ROV. It was taken by ambulance to Portland Port to be passed into the care of the Dorset coroner. But poor conditions mean attempts to salvage the aircraft have been abandoned, with the AAIB saying they'll rely on underwater video footage from the crash site to make their report. Without having access to the remains of the plane, and with one body still missing, Questions will surely remain for both investigators and the families about Emiliano Sala's final moments. I'll get that little piece of dangerous